Thank you for joining me this Game Edge, and we are back in the council. If you missed the first episode, you should go and check it out. The story is unfolding. It is quite incredible. Intrigue, Illuminati, whatever you want to think about it. It is definitely, definitely very cool. So far, we've actually uh, were able to get ourselves a couple of traits. We should cover last episode. Figured also what we can do, and how important those traits are to the well-being of the story. Again, if you missed it, the story will unfold differently in everything we choose. So it's very important we pick and have fun, but there is an end to each one. And again, this is a first chapter. So I'm definitely curious. We were looking for some stuff. We weren't allowed going down this wharf last time. Um, and now I'm actually just going to go back and double check. Oh, I think I'm hearing some stuff here. What's this? A wooden floorboard. Looking for his mother and what's going on. Questions where it came from. Hmm. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. All right, so it's the same thing. It was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. All right, so we, What's he, the point of doing this? He's obviously going to be answering the same questions. We can examine it, too, if you want to. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. All right, so it's pretty much we can stand back from that one. That's pretty cool. There's also a little bit of here. What's this? It's locked. It's all the stuff. Open gate. No. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. We can swim there. Pick lock. Difficulty. We can't do that. We don't have that. Damn. Hopefully we'll have it. I hope I picked the right one. Out of all we have to pick. All right, the wharf is there. What's this? Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. There's something underneath it, too. Use rest of your iron bar. Absolutely. We picked that up last one. Rip up the floorboard. Fail on this one. There nope. we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Alright, which has a rest many scripts that allow you to educate yourself during the adventures at the start of each quest. You can choose to read and gain permanent skill points. Find my scripts using the inventory. We're gonna have to do that, that's for sure. Alright, we'll click and hold. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Uh let's start off with the first one. Fruit, a piece of Bacon and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. All right. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. And this bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and... Or powder puff. But what does all this mean? I don't know. An iron key completely oh, rusted. Take the key for sure. You never know. It might be useful. Yeah, I just, hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Just down here to be very useful. Examine powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Fingerprints. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Man, he could fit a lot in his pocket. <laughs> Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Let's see here. Step back. Use our key. Ah, here we are. Nice. That's what I want to see. 
All right, there's some stuff glowing there. Let's double check to see here on this side. We're investigating to see if there is going to be intrigue. I can mention also his historical figures, George Washington's in here and Napoleon. Uh, a couple of other ones too. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Well, except that she's missing a hand. Added some real jelly, which will help us out for skill points when actually utilizing them. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Is that a broken barrel? Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Interesting. We can't use that for examination. No, we cannot. We'll it's step unusable back. Now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of a wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I... All right. Uh, amber fragment. Sorry if I clicked right through it. I didn't think it would do that. I just found an amber fragment in each... Okay, pick up four. Wow. Increase the maximum effort. Wow, okay, so that's cool. We can actually utilize that. Review inventory tab for a minute. All right, let's check that out. Oops, a fragment of amber. All right, they're, they want to see us back up there. Let's just check out our inventory and go through this. Let's see what we have. It's our bag itself. The litter. What's the actual book? These things here. Am I smart enough to do this one? Wait a second, how do you read it? Am I supposed to... Hmm. Doesn't really tell you that point. One skill point. Is it automatic? It must be automatic. That's pretty much it. This is where this is all coming from. Okay, I get it now. I get it. So you'd see your talents and... Where is it? Character? These little bars are extra. This one gives us what? The Art of Knowing People. And there you go, psychology right here. It gave you that point, which we didn't select. Did I select that? I didn't even did select that one. Interesting. I don't know if I could read this only at night or a certain time. It's not letting me click away or do anything. We'll have to figure that out as we go along. I'm curious as hell, but let's run back. I don't think I see anything else. This is flashing. Still same floorboard? Roll jelly. All right. So it doesn't flash twice. That is good to know. Keep your eyes out for anything else that's kind of twinkling. We do need all those things. Anything else here? No, I don't think so. I think we did pretty darn good. Nope. Oh. A Latin inscription. An nesis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Translate text. Can I do it? I'm not, I'm not smart enough for that. Is that it? Great. Not going to happen today. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Whoa. 
Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontation was just several steps of being persuasive as possible. Okay, well, let's do that. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Oh, shit. Remember the Golden Order. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh... I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Pretend I don't want it. Difficulty is three. Yes, I'll give it to her. You can count on me. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? All right, last step. Let's go step a confrontation. You must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the steps will repeat itself until either you give up. All right, let's do this. Uh, okay, no worries. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. 
It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> hidden elements, many clues or items are hidden. Some of them have impact on your venture. So don't hesitate to look. All right, that's what we're going to be doing. Looking for the items. We can actually search around and see. Let's actually even check out to see here uh, if anything else popped up. Do we have any extra points? I saw some things just kind of clink and turn on. I don't see any extra points that we can actually utilize. None whatsoever. These must be the actual traits we're talking about. The talents across here. Reliable. All right, these ones we're starting to get through out here. Manipulation. All right, that's very cool. We do have, a, of course, a letter. So kind of frustrated. I can't figure out how to use this thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's later on. Can't right click. Can't do anything to it. And it's... Whoa. Journal. No, it's not working for now. I actually pressed E and it flipped over to the next one. I was like, what the heck's going on? Oh, there's some stuff here. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Oh, we're stealing an earthing. That's great. Well, the guy looks like he has some cash. Yikes. Guy's pretty damn gutsy. Oh, we got some more stuff here. Devil's Storm. Devil's Storm grants you ex exalted state. What the heck? It's temporary seize immunity and vulnerability affecting the dialogue choices and conversations. Okay, more than five at a time. All right. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. All right. I got gotcha. you. Let's double check on the other side, see if we can find anything else. Another book. Nothing else here. Did it go dink? I just. Oh. I'm hearing. up oh, the painting. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. All right. Wow, that one doesn't look very nice. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brush strokes like this. Yeah, the brush strokes exactly what I'm looking at. Oh, <laughs> shit. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. I gotta get a little closer to this one. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. All right. I don't think we can go there. It's restricted. Maybe I should introduce myself to the other guests first. Maybe you should. Maybe you should also be looking at other things. Like, how do we get the hell out of here? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Really? That's that's the last thing I'd say is tastes. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. 
I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Hmm. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Illuminati. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Uh, stay with Washington. Discover homes and... Uh, Washington. Hell Let's yeah. see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. 
If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. All right, let's do this. Tell me about uh, Mortimer. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Uh, yeah, let's go. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Uh, I can't use this one, so... Perhaps... Mystery that surrounds us... My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. No. Which way should we pick here, guys? Uh, here, I wonder off. if mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my mother still must be on the island. Shepard can find a clue. Don't speak about the book. Show. Sure. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Hm. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. 
You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Very interesting. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? And on that point, we will be ending this episode. And if again, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you get in the actual comment fields. Hit like button and share this so we can get more episodes in here. I'd like to continue this at the end and get chapter one done. Again, if you guys want to pick up for yourself, just check the link in the description field. Pick it up on Steam. This game is actually really, really cool. I do love it. Look how gorgeous it is. A lot of work was detailed and was well put into this game. You can see it. I'm very, very impressed. Wow, look at the ceilings. too. shite. That is amazing. All right, can't wait to finish up and find out what happened to his mother in chapter one. So thank you so much for being here. This is your game edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.